Greetings and welcome to episode two as we take time to define what mental health is. My name is Caroline Chola, Director of Women's Ministries at the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Pretoria. Last week, we discovered the true meaning of mental health. This week, we are discussing the determinants of mental health promotion. What is it that determines or promotes mental health? They are protective factors and risk factors. According to McDonald Hara 1998 model, there are 10 elements of mental health. These determinants range from individual to environmental factors. These determinants pair protective and risk factors to inform and design appropriate interventions. So let us explore this together. Under the protective factors, there is environmental quality, the quality of the environment you are in. And there is self-esteem and there is emotional processing, how you process things and self-management, how you manage yourself and social skills participation, how you participate socially. But then there are also risk factors. Under risk factors, we have environmental deprivation. There are times when you are deprived of certain things in your environment. And there is also emotional abuse. And that is also followed by emotional negligence. And also stress is one of the risk factors. And also social exclusion where you are excluded socially. What is involved in mental health promotion? How do we promote mental health? Mental health promotion involves actions that create living conditions and environments to support mental health. It involves healthy lifestyles and actions that increase the chances of more people experiencing better mental health. Mental health promotion works from the principle that everyone has mental needs, not just people who have been diagnosed with mental illness. Mental health promotion is essentially concerned with making changes in society that will promote people's mental well-being. Mental health promotion is a term that covers a variety of strategies. These strategies can be seen to occur in three levels. Number one, the individual level or the micro level. In this level, an individual is given resources so that they are helped to cope up with certain adverse effects in their lives. In addition, interventions are being made for this person to have a healthy self-esteem, to cope and also to be assertive in such areas such as parenting, in areas like the workplace, and also in personal relationships. Number two, the other level is communities, and this is MESO. In this level, we increase the social inclusion or cohesion, developing support structures that promote mental health in workplaces, in schools, in the homes, in neighborhood and churches. Level three is the government level or the macro level. And it is in this level where governments are expected to reduce barriers to mental health. In this 
level, the government is expected to reduce social economic barriers to mental health. And it is expected that at this level, the government will promote equal support for the vulnerable in society. Therefore, mental well-being includes the following. Number one, a positive view of self, self-awareness, self-esteem, and self-acceptance. Number two, personal growth and development, developing talents and abilities to their full potential. Number three, positive friendships. This is the ability to build relationships of many varieties. Number four, environmental mastery. Meeting the requirements of many different situations encountered in life. Number five, autonomy. Being capable of independent action. Number six, accurate view of reality, not distorting the world in any way. What is our take-home message? Our take-home message is, what is it that promotes mental health? There are protective factors and risk factors. Mental promotion works from the principle that everyone has mental needs and that it is not only the people that are diagnosed with mental illness that need mental health. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, thank you because you take care of our needs. You promised that you will take care of all our needs, including our emotional needs. Our Father and our God, we are here to request you, Lord, to take care of these needs, the, me the mental needs, the psychological needs, the physical needs, the spiritual needs, dear Lord. May you help us, dear Lord, to know the determining factors that can help us promote our mental health. Our Father and our God, whether we have been diagnosed with mental illness, we still need to take care of our mental health. So help us, Jesus, as we embark on this journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.